your thoughts on what we heard from Powell and whether or not you're going to see a market move, because we've been hearing transitory for so long that the Fed thought inflation was temporary for so many months now. Um, yeah, so I would just say that last week the most interesting thing was we heard about the fact that we knew the tapering is probably going to start sooner than later. We know that interest rates may start hiking next year as opposed to 2023. But just taking out that one word transitory, which, Maria, we've talked about in this show a lot. We've talked about how, you know, the Fed, they're talking about being very, very, very dovish about inflation, but that's not the real case. We're finally starting to see what's real, and what's real is inflation is going to be around for quite a long time. And it really just comes down to supply chains are a mess. Um, you're, you're talking about gas not being delivered to gas stations. That's because we don't have enough drivers out there. So I think the, the real bane of the economy, what's going to be happening going forward, is we just don't have enough people to manage the supply chains for all the demand out there, which is going to continue to push prices higher. And that also means for your portfolio, you've got to make those adjustments, because we know, we saw this earlier in the year when the 10-year Treasury was at 1.7 percent, now we're coming back on that 1.7 percent, we're over 1.5 today, is technology stocks don't do that well. Um, and what Dennis just said is like spot on. If you look at like energy stocks, you look at financials, there's a lot of places in the market that do really, really well in an inflationary environment. And we also know, and Dennis is going to like this, Bitcoin is actually going <laughs> down right now. So it's not an inflation hedge. So I think it's really important right now that you're proactive with your portfolio. We've been telling you for months that inflation is not transitory. You know, the Fed right now is being, you know, their, their, their language is not correct. Now they're getting on board, so you've got to reposition your portfolio. Inflation's here to stay. Labor market's going to be tight. And again, you've got to have those cyclical stocks in your portfolio.